Hey friends, today is Tuesday, March 31st. It's the last day of March. So today for math, I want you to find a page that looks like this. It's the last one that's in your packet that Mrs. Hoffman gave you. And it's lesson number 20. And it is on page 257. So this looks a little bit like uh, a page that you did a couple days ago. So we're going to look at the first one so that you can learn how to do it. So it says draw lines to match. So this is looks like a 10 frame but it doesn't have the lines. You're seeing five on the top and two on the bottom. Five and two more is seven. So we're going to draw a line to seven because that number tells us how many. We're going to count the ones in here. There are five on the top and four on the bottom. So five plus four is five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five plus four is nine. So I'm going to draw a line from this blue dot to the number nine. We're going to match up the 10 frame with the number. On this side, you're going to match up the fingers to the number and also the circles in the 10 frame to the number. So let's do this one is done for us already. There is one finger showing on this hand. So you draw, trace the dotted line to the number one. There is one circle in this 10 frame. So you're going to draw a line to the number one. So there will be two lines on that side. Okay. The next one, you're going to count the dots and write how many. And then you're going to circle the number that is less. Remember, the number that is less is the number that is smaller. So count the circles, write the number. Count the circles, write the number. And then you're going to circle the number that is less. Remember, less means smaller. So you're going to do all of those. Then you guys are getting so good at addition and subtraction. So if you need some help, I want you to use your fingers or you can use your whiteboard and you can make circles or you can use your Play-Doh if you made Play-Doh this week or if you have some Play-Doh at home that you that you just had and didn't and uh, maybe you didn't use the recipe that Mrs. Hoffman gave you but if you can find some Play-Doh I want you to use Play-Doh and make clay balls to show. So in this one, if we wanted to use Play-Doh, we would make five balls of Play-Doh plus three balls of Play-Doh, and we would count how many all together and write the number. So you've done lots of addition and subtraction. I want you to tell mom and dad if you're having a hard time with addition and subtraction, and maybe you and I can have a meeting call, and I'll help you a little bit with your addition. Okay, keep working hard, my friends. Good job on math today.